What up, Sintelman Ali here, the Reverend of the Revolution, welcoming you to your daily revolution. Today's topic, letting go. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I just touched down here in California after spending some time out in Dallas, Texas, with a group of individuals and a man that I've hired to be a part of his group to learn to take notes and just to level up my life. So yes, people pay me money to come into my programs, Immersion, Shield Made It Live, we got Program Live coming up. People pay me to coach them and our programs are amazing. People get results, people level up, people's marriages get mended, people get physically fit and they make a lot more money and have more peace doing it. Well, I actually live what I teach. I flew down to Dallas, Texas and spent two days with a gentleman who has shifted things in my world. And the beautiful part about this is it was a significant investment. And in two days, I got what I needed to get. Not that I'm done, but I got what I needed to get. And as I sat down in Texas, I thought about what's happened recently in my business where I've had to let someone go. This individual has been with me for two years. He's been with me for over two years. He's helped the company get to a certain point. He's been responsible for the marketing, the videos, a lot of the things that you see on the front end. He's been the one who's built it. And for the last six months, I've felt this thing like, I don't know if he's the right person anymore. But I've been too afraid to let go because of my, my appreciation, my love for this man who's been just a, an amazing friend, an amazing brother. And finally, about a month ago, I decided to let him go. I let him go. We had a great conversation. It was mutual. He felt like he wasn't the man. I felt like he wasn't the man. And he was making a great income working for me and with me side by side. And then the moment that I let him go, the moment that he was done with me, guess what happened? My business took off. As I let one person go, I hired three, not one, not two, but three people to take his place. Now this all came about because I knew what got me here would not get me there. The thing that got me to where I'm currently at today will not get me there. And while I'm paying other coaches, I knew it was time to hire another coach. So a lot of lessons here on this one. Number one, what got you here will not get you there. The man who's been with me as a business associate, an employee, a team member, I had to let him go. He got me to where we are, but guess what? He could not get us past the ceiling. This is when you see professional teams fire their coach or let a quarterback or basketball player or an athlete go. Sometimes that player has gotten you as far as they can get you. This person on my team got me as far as he could get us. And the only way that I could level up, the only way that I could grow was to let him go. Now, <clears throat> this is tough, especially when you build relationships with people and you really appreciate their work. And I didn't want to let him go, but I had to. As I let him go, three people came to my world and we have made more money, we have more direction, we have more clarity, and it wasn't that he was bad. It's just oftentimes the things that get us here, almost all the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, will not get us there. What's required to go make $100,000 in your business uh, will rarely get you to make a million, and what got you to a million will definitely not get you to make 10 million. The same thing, what got you to lose that 20 pounds or 30 pounds, it's gonna require you to shift things to go get now leaned up. Right? What got you to be muscular is not going to happen to be able to go run the marathon. And it's the same thing in marriage. In your relationships right now, what got you to where you were when you got married? Remember how in love you were, how hot and spicy things were, how incredible things were. You were in love. You could barely keep your hands off each other. Then years later, you have kids. Work gets in the way. You might get a little bit heavier. You get a little older. And if you're not careful, the thing that got you to where you are in your marriage will actually prevent you from getting to the next level. So not only is it what got you here won't get you there, what got you here will keep you here. It will prevent you from getting there. And this is what happened with my team member who I've let go now and use him as a contractor. Now, what does this mean in terms of overall lessons and principles? Let go. What is the thing in your life right now that is holding you back? What is the thing right now that you continue to hold on to that prevents you from going to the next level? What beliefs? What truths that you think are true but are not true? What thoughts do you continue to say, hey, this is true, but it's not? 
What habits, what foods, what places, what groups of people do you still hold on to that prevent you from getting to the next level? And I will tell you right now, if you truly want to go to the next level, if you truly want the next level, and look, this, these phrases get used so much today, they lose the meaning. People say, I want to go to the next level. I want to double and triple and 10x, and I want to do all these things. Yet in reality, they really don't. Because they're unwilling to let go of the thing that got them there. They're unwilling to leave behind, as Jesus said, let the dead bury the dead. Or as uh, I mean, was it Elsa, let it go, let it go. You got to let it go. Sometimes this even means for my, my people out there who are going through a difficult time in marriage. It might mean letting go. Yeah, the D word is called divorce. I know people right now that stay in a horrible marriage for the kids because, you know, we grew up hearing that divorce is really bad and we shouldn't get divorced, so let's just stay in a marriage that doesn't work and let's just stay together. But in reality, letting go might mean moving on. I know many couples today that are extremely happy, remarried, great friends with each other, with their ex, and they're like, we're so glad we, we had the courage to do this. But it's the same thing in business. What's the thing in your business, in your, your career, your job that you continue to hold on to and that even the voice has been telling you, let go. Let go. Let it go. You want to lose weight? God, you're going to have to let those foods that you so love. You're going to have to let go of the comfort zones. Comfort zones equals success zone. Success zone typically equals your money zone. And your money zone, well, that's going to allow you to travel to have lifestyle, to do the things you want to do, drive the cars you want to drive, travel and vacation, take those cruises, put your kids in private schools. Now, some of you listening to this might be like, that's cool for you, Satima, <clears throat> but let me tell you, it's not just for me. It's for the number of people that I spend time with. Again, let go. I flew to Dallas, Texas, lesson number two, who's in your huddle. I spend time with people. I write the significant check. Why? Because I am committed to leveling up. I am committed to growing, I am committed to taking my business to a whole nother level, to reaching the masses, to impacting generations, because I know the message that has been given to me, I know the people that I get to work with, I know the principles that I live by, that I teach, they bless, they help, they support, they sustain, they help people, they help them to save their marriages. Many people that have come to the programs were on the brink of divorce and are now happily married. Many people came into my programs who forgot who they were, even though they were in their 50s. They forgot who they were. And they were trying to go build success, but they couldn't remember who they were, and they were in this funk, and then they come into the program, and this is, this is not a, a light on Satema. I just listen to the voice. I stay committed to what I want, and I trust, and I make these, these leaps and bounds of faith. 48 hours from the time I'm shooting this, we have Man Wolf Immersion, a group of men from all over the country coming to Southern California to change their world. And I'm going to invite them to do the same thing, to let go of things in their life, to cut things off, to let go of the stories, and to let go of the habits, and let go of the so-called truths that they think are going to get them to the next level, and it won't. So what got you here will not get you there. Remember that. And in order to get there to that next level, to that next place of production and possibility and power, purpose, it's going to require you to let go. That means cutting things off. And it's not easy to cut things off because the things that we have in our life right now, they're comfortable. They're awesome. Like we just love them. Sometimes that means cutting off people that you hang out with means cutting off old things that you used to believe to be true, but they definitely don't serve you anymore. It means surrounding yourself with other people to give you possibilities. I remember thinking, man, I want to hit this number. I want to go hit this number, and I think I can do it in five years. And then I get on two of my mentors, and they say, I, we, you can do that in two, two and a half years. You're going to have to hustle. You're going to have to grind, and we can do it. So my possibilities opened up. I continue to invest myself. I let go of the things that don't serve me. And man, when you let go and you listen, wow, you can accelerate. This is what we call quantum leaps, quantum bounds. 
This is how we call, or this is what we call collapsing time. So, what can you let go of in your life today that would allow you to go to the next level? What are you still holding on to that's preventing you from getting to the next level in your marriage, in your fitness, your spirituality, in your side of your money, in your happiness? What are you still clinging to and holding fast to that if you were to let go, you would accelerate forward? Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Yes, let it go. So Tim Magala reminding you, if you're going to create a life of real radical results, a life that you love, it will require you to pay the piper every single day so you can get to the top of your mountain where your prize, promises, and possibilities are waiting, just waiting for you. The revolution has begun. Will you join us? I'm out. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com. And join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.